waving a hand in front of your face. Okay, sorry. All right. um, no, I'm just used to Netflix saying five minutes, three minutes. I, I was just wondering, are they telling me to shut up? Sorry. Sorry. Hurry up, okay, hurry okay, up. Okay, okay. It's a 30 Wait, not second from bite. Netflix. Not from Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So, <laughs> so, um, so I think um, you realize that there's so much more depth and layering to this story than what we initially thought when we saw it as children. And I think this representation of the story is most accurate of that. And that's why it appeals across time. I believe there was a question coming from that side. Where? Okay. Hi, uh, my question is for Mr. Christian Bale. This is Pooja from Good Times. I wanted to ask you is, Bagheera is a Black Panther, but he's also mentor and friend to the man cub uh, uh, Mowgli. So how did you prepare for this role? And was there pressure in adapting Mr. Circus's interpretation of Bagheera? No, no pressure at all. I mean, uh, uh, Andy, uh, we first met when I was 19 years old. He's always been a, a phenomenal actor. And then he's really mastered this whole performance capture thing, which when you first start it, you think, what are the secrets? What are we looking for? There's always those um, elements that you're not sure what their priority is, but he could guide me on that. And eventually it just comes down to it's acting. It's just like anything else. It's just different distractions with uh, performance capture than anything else. Um, and, um, uh, you know, Bagheera is a really fantastic uh, uh, character. Um, um, it was really about... Uh, 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 observing panthers, you know, trying to get the, the movement down. Uh, with performance capture, you get to act directly, you know, with Andy and with Rohan, and we had a great sort of three, four crazy days of, of doing that, but it affects your performance completely. Um, it's fascinating. It's a new, new world of possibilities of uh, what an actor can transform himself uh, uh, into. Uh, over here, right here. Uh, Mr. Christian Bale, my question is again to you, this is Russell De Silva. Uh, what I would like to know is that you have a knack for completely physically and emotionally transforming into any character you play. But unlike many great actors alike today, you also started out as a child actor like Rowan, perhaps 12 or 13 when you did Empire of the Sun. So is there any point when perhaps a saturation sets in or you feel like you need to take a break considering the demanding roles you do? Yes. But uh, could you elaborate a little bit on that, please? No, sorry. No. <laughs> I, didn't hear, I didn't hear the last could bit. You elaborate on that? Could you elaborate on that? Elaborate? Um, yeah, you just got to um, 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 stop acting, be human. But Rowan's got tons of different interests. He's a really intelligent kid, way more intelligent than I will ever be uh, in, in my lifetime. And just being curious about different things. And that informs being a good actor. You've got to walk away from it. You've got to walk away from films. I'm, I imagine every actor up here will say that. Um, acting itself doesn't lead to uh, better acting life and living that. And so uh, enjoying your downtime. And I'm always someone who I'm kind of kicking and screaming before I'll go work. I don't actually love working. I love not working. And then when I start working, I love working. And I never want to stop that. So I like whatever I'm doing, you know, but I've recognized that if I don't have downtime, you start to just sort of act like other actors instead of acting like uh, people. Hello. Where, ma'am? Here. Yeah. My question is Abhishek, Madhuri ma'am, Anilji, and Karina, you are from the कि यूजुअली आप लोग जो डबिंग करते हैं वो बेसिकली अपने अपने किरदारों को जो किरदार आप लोग खुद जीते हैं उनके लिए करते हैं यहां जब आप एक मतलब जो किरदार जब अलग से डब कर रहे हैं जो आपने निभाया नहीं है वो कितना आसान या मुश्किल होता है कंपैरेटिवली हाउ वाज इट बीइंग द पाइथन गिविंग वॉइस टू द पाइथन या गिविंग वॉइस टू द पाइथन यू हैवंट स्पोकन सो प्लीज हां मैं हट जाता हूं मेरे को पता है मेरे को मार पड़ेगी वन सेकंड गुड इनफ यू गाइस you can see? Yeah, please, Karina. Uh, well, of course, from the roles that I've played normally, which has been, you know, um, completely different to what Ka's character required, I think I enjoyed this a lot more because I found it, I found her voice um, very, very powerful, very, very, it had to be slightly uh, hypnotic because she kind of hypnotizes Mowgli and, you know, in a way to take his decision, you know, and uh, shows him the way, you know, to his journey, the path. So obviously it's slightly hypnotic, slightly seductive, very, very powerful. Um, I felt like when I was dubbing, I felt like, I don't know, I was like on stage. I had to be slightly more theatrical. Um, the voice had to sound like 
like it wasn't me. So I actually enjoyed doing it. When it was over, I was like, God, why weren't there more scenes? <laughs> Madhuri, ma'am? Um, I think it was great doing this because uh, the actor who actually played the original character of the mother, uh, Miss Harris, she did a brilliant job. And all I had to do was just use my voice and her expressions and uh, just get the flow of it. It's a beautiful character. It's that of a mother who accepts Mowgli as her child. He's very different from, uh, from their clan. He's a man cub. And yet she goes out. She's generous. She is loving. She's giving. And she accepts his... Uh, she accepts him as his own. And uh, that was a wonderful thing, I think, uh, which is needed in the world today. People are different, and you need to embrace something that's different, and that's what she does. And I enjoyed playing her, because she was beautiful, she's ferocious, uh, she will protect her man cub right here at every cost. And um, I, just, I just loved and enjoyed playing her. Anil, sir, I'm going to add a little more to the question. When you watch the Hindi trailer, Anil Kapoor is also there. Like, <laughs> The way you speak, you know, in real life, and even Balu, there are these worlds that are mixing. Is it, is it difficult? And every actor wants to do a role, if it's been done before, differently. Were you watching what was happening in the English version while you were, uh, you know? I did, I did say that, yeah, I did. Because I, I would, uh, you know, try out first. And I, as I said it, that I, if I got stuck, and I was not happy, and I, you know, I would listen to it, because I would go, back and forth, listen to the theater, go into the, you know, do all those crazy things. And, um, you know, and then I had the reference. So I was fortunate that I had the reference of the great Andy, you know, otherwise, still, I think I have to learn a lot, uh, you know, uh, with just the beginning, for, for me at least. And um, I wish I get an opportunity where I would get to work with all these great talented people like Christian Bale and Andy. and. Uh, of course. Abhishek just mentioned. Yeah, Frida. Uh, Frida, I've all, you know, I, of course I did, uh, uh, you know, the phenomenal film which we did together. It was a great experience and it was wonderful. And again, we are on the stage again after 10 years. Uh, I hope this, this is also... winning awards, basically. No, it's not the award. I think, I think more importantly, we should not think about the awards. I think it's the more the people see it and enjoy it and remember it. I think that's what our reward is. Yeah. Sir, was it easy? No, 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 no not, <laughs> Louis, not you. <laughs> Abhishek, was it just easy to get the swagger? Because I think Bagheera's character has got a lot of swagger. The way he speaks, uh, he's of course training the man cub Mowgli. Was it easy for you to just be this deep baritone voice which you already have? <laughs> Ooh, five mark question. Um, no, it, it was uh, very, very challenging. Um, what was liberating about this entire exercise is, I think for the first time, in, in, in our films, in our industry, there is a huge element um, of your personality that you always bring to a character, which is probably not prevalent in the West. Uh, in Indian cinema, uh, I mean, that's almost um, a prerequisite. What was nice is you got liberated because you got to be an entirely new character and you weren't confined within those boundaries. Um, what was really nice is, I mean, uh, I wasn't playing a human being, so that was new. And keeping that in mind and keeping the, the you know, the way um, Mr. Circus had designed the character, the way, you know, Christian had performed it, uh, and then to try and Indianize it, that was very challenging. Uh, also, um, to fit uh, linguistically, Hindi into English an English dialogue is, is very challenging. They're two completely separate um, languages which have a different tone, a different meter. So that was, um, that was challenging. But um, I think in terms of, to answer your question, I think these two gentlemen brought in all the, 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 the attitude and swag that Bagheera needed. Um, we merely tried to do, uh, live up to the, the standards that they had set. I'm going to take one more question, ladies and gentlemen. Renuka? Hi. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, Christian, my question is for you. Um, you mm -hmm. have, uh, from Dark Knight to the Black Panther, uh, if you can take us through the voice modulation that you work on. Because I remember one of the interviews you said that your wife was initially, when you said that you did the Black Panther voice, she wasn't really amused with it. But if you could just take us through how you work on uh, your voices. Well, with Batman, I just felt stupid. <laughs> and 
when I put on the suit. And so I felt like uh, he should sound uh, as monstrous as he could. And what you're referring to is I went home after the screen test and my wife said, what did you do? And I showed it and she went, oh, well, you blew that, didn't you? <laughs> and, and, um, yeah, no, like, like, like the wonderful support. <laughs> yeah, but, and with Bagheera, um, you know, he's described in, in the book as having, I think it's like, it says some like, it's a voice like uh, dripping honey from a tree. Um, but he's also, he's cunning, he's bold, and he's reckless as well. He's also a wounded individual because he grew up with humans. He saw his mother die, and then he decided to become a panther, and he broke through that lock. But what I liked very much is the similarities between him and Mowgli and also him and Shere Khan because um, for Bagheera, he's had to work out what his identity is and where he belongs. And then um, uh, in terms of him and Shere Khan, uh, uh, um, uh, Bagheera has taken the damage that he's received in his life and he's turned it into love and positivity, whereas Shere Khan has taken that damage and turned it into bitterness and into hatred. And um, I just wanted to have a sense with Bagheera of great nobility, um, uh, of, of sounding uh, soothing uh, for Mowgli when it was needed, sounding avuncular, but then also sounding very threatening um, when he needs to be. You know, the Rudyard Kipling book says nobody would cross Bagheera's path. Nobody wanted to, and everybody feared him uh, except for Mowgli. Okay, there's one more question. We have time for one more question. Hello. There's a mic already. Hello. Where's the mic? Yes. Hi, I wanted to ask Frida. Um, Frida, right there in the middle. Hi. Uh, since you've grown up reading The Jungle Book, um, how much of that did you bring into your role for this movie? And also, what was it like working with Andy again? Well, it's always a pleasure working with Andy, and I hope there's many more. Um, you know, Andy and I, when we worked on Rise of the Planet of the Apes, that was my first, my fourth film ever of my career. And I had no idea what motion capture was or what I was going to have to do on set. And it's a very strange thing when you come to set and you watch a grown man in a suit with dots on his face and a camera attached to his head. And then Andy starts performing and then you completely forget that you're watching a man. You're just watching Caesar come to life. So similarly, I knew, you know, working with Andy on this particular project that all the animals, all the actors lending themselves to motion capture were going to be taken care of because really what he's focused on is a performance and not just, you know, the... the the big set of it all. Um, what was your other part of your question? Was how was it? Oh, how did it influence? How did my childhood influence? Um, you know the beautiful part about this Mowgli ad adaptation, and I don't know if any if everyone has seen it, is um, really what Andy does. It's an ode to India. Um, I remember him telling me before. Um, I think it was before I left for South <coughs> Africa that he wanted to do my parts in Hindi, and he wanted to attempt it and go down that route. And for all of us who remember on Dur Darshan, we'd watch Jungle Book every Sunday. And there's so much of the human life in the village that was captured in that version, and I have not seen that version anywhere else in any other adaptation. So for me to go to South Africa and actually work with fellow actors, all speaking in Hindi, all enjoying a, um, a kind of a version of the Holy Festival, um, singing a lullaby written and composed by Nitin Soni, all of those beautiful things that I associate with India came to life in this movie. So yeah, very grateful to Andy for letting me speak in Hindi in this film and letting me dub myself. <laughs> okay, that, that, was, that was bound to happen. Your own kids. Haji. <laughs> you want to repeat? Yeah, I mean, he's two, so he's not ready. He's two. <laughs> For you, he's two. And? So not right now. Not right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the cameras uh, were clicking away, but of course now it's that big family photograph, but... Uh, I'm going to invite the producer.
of Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle on stage. Thamba. Guys, calm. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jonathan Cavendish. Yes, now I'd request the cast if they could uh, just step forward. That's okay. <laughs> and we'll, we'll remove the chairs. We'll remove the chairs. Eight second, eight second. If flash, please. We'll get you all the pictures. Abhi flash chalega. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now, I, I think I think if we could get all of you the pictures that you want, but I would request the two Bagiras if they could pose for the photographers together. Of course, Abhishek and Christian, if you could pose. If you could just step forward, Christian, Abhishek. Ladies and gentlemen, the two Bagiras. Wow. Super. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Abhishek. Uh, of course, now if I could request the two Baloos. We got Rowan and Louis now. And then we get the two Baloos as well. Much. Uh, I would request the two the ladies of the of the film, Frida, Karina, Madhuri. Okay, thank you. And uh, the final invitation to the two Baloos, Andy Circus and Mr. Anil Kapoor. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That was motion capture, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Anil, sir. Thank you, Frida. Thank you, Madhuri, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Abhishek. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, Louis. Thank you. Thank you, Rohan. Thank you. And thank you, Jonathan. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, 7th of December, Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle, streams on Netflix. And of course, there's a premiere in the evening. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much.